Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Komal Kamal Shekhavan and I hope you all are doing well. In this video, I will be discussing how to represent your data set using graphs. So basically, I'm going to discuss how to obtain a histogram, bar graph or a line chart for a particular variable or a data series in your regression model. Also, I wanted to state that I have re received numerous requests to upload a video on various estimation models, with generalized methods of movements, autoregressive distributed like model, non-linear autoregressive distributed like model, and so on. So definitely, in a couple of weeks, I will be uploading videos on these various estimation models. Although I have already uploaded a video on ARDL model, and I'm also attaching the link for the same in the description box. So you can watch that video from there. Okay, so let's start with this one. So uh, first of all, you need to import your data file or all those variables for which you want to obtain a, a graph, okay? Uh, so suppose uh, I have already imported my data file, as you can see here, and these are all the variables. Uh, so this file contains a panel data set, and suppose you have a panel data set, and you want to obtain a graph for all the cross sections, uh, so as you can see, these are all the variables in my data set. And for this panel data, if I want to obtain a line graph or a bar chart, so first of all, select that variable for which you want to uh, obtain a graph. So suppose I want to obtain a graph for the variable GDP. Uh, so all these variables are log. So log of y is my GDP variable in this data set. So double click on that variable for which you want to obtain the graph. So after I double click on this variable, you can see this is the data for all the cross sections. Okay, so you can see five here. So there were total five cross sections means there were total five countries in my data set. And for these five countries, the log of GDP for the 1990 to 2018 is shown, okay? So this is the data. Now, if I want to obtain a graph for this, so there are see two options. First of all, you need to go to view, okay? Here you can see, one of the option is graph and the other option is descriptive statistics and test. And so first I discuss the descriptive statistics and test. So here then you can see the option for histogramic stats. So if you click on this option, you can see the histogram for this data set has been obtained. Okay, so this is a very simple process. Now talking about the other one, Again, you need to go to view, okay? And if you click on the option graph, this dialog box appears, okay? So here you can see in the left side, option pages are mentioned and the graph type and other details, okay? So I'll discuss all these one by one. Uh, so suppose you want to obtain a basic type of the graphs. So you will select graph basic type then there is option for frame and size, okay? So if you click on this, there is option for color and border, size and intense too. So you can change the color of the graph from here, okay? If you want to fill the graph with some particular color, you can select that color, okay? And you can select the background also. So these are about the color and size and intense of the graph. Next option is axis and scale, okay? So if you want to adjust the left axis or right axis, so you can accordingly select those options, okay? 
you want to adjust the bottom axis or you want to adjust the top axis right then there is an option for legend where whether you want to color the entire box of the graph or not or you want to frame color or not so you can select these uh, options based upon your requirement okay or you can go with the default options also then there is an option for graph elements okay so in the graph elements there are various uh, uh, like attributes you can see the color of the graph line pattern so if, if it is a line graph you can select the line pattern you want this in dotted or you want a continuous line a dotted line single dotted double dotted what type of width you want for the line so you can select the width also then there are symbol for observations okay uh, so for each particular observation you want a circle or another mark you can select accordingly so these are all the specifications of the graph then there is an option for quick fonts okay so if something is written over the graph so you can change the font or style or size of the font okay under this quick fonts option and lastly there is option for templates and objects so in this manner you can select all these things and after selecting all these things now coming back to the graph type so in general there are two options basic graph and categorical graph so if you want to proceed with basic graph you can see the specific graph types like you want a bar graph you want a line and symbol graph you want area dot plot distribution box plot there are various options so suppose i want to proceed with basic graph type and the specific graph is line and symbol graph okay then in the details section you can see the orientation and axis borders okay if you want uh, for the axis border you want a box plot or histogram okay so i am proceeding with the default option all right now since this was a panel data so there is another option under these panel options okay and if you click on this you can see the options for stack cross sections individual cross sections combined cross sections etc okay so this means that since in my data set there were total five cross sections or five countries so i wanted a graph for gdp of these five countries for the time period 1990 to 2018 okay now if i choose stack cross sections okay and i click on this so you can see here this is a single graph representing all the cross sections so in a single unit okay for the time period 1990 to 2018 however such graphs does not indicate individual specifications okay uh, by looking at this graph, I can't identify for which country the GDP is increasing or decreasing because this was a single stacked graph, right? But I showed you this option, what does it represent? Now, if I select another option, so for that, again go to view, graph, and here you can see instead of stack cross sections, if you select individual cross sections and then click OK, so uh, OK, so you can see. All right, so you can see here, since there were total five countries of five cross sections, so you can see here for the country one, country two, three, four, and five, individual graphs have been obtained and uh, if you look at the first one, so this is the log of GDP on the vertical axis and on the horizontal axis, the time period is shown from 1990 to 2015, okay? So GDP in all these countries is showing a 
an increasing trend. Okay. All right. So I will show you another option wherein uh, you need to go to view, then graph. And here in this panel options, uh, since we have seen stack cross sections, we have also seen individual cross sections. You can also have a look on the combined cross sections. Okay. After selecting this, click on OK. All right. So as you can see here, all those five cross sections have been shown in a single graph, okay, with different uh, line colors. So for cross section one, you need to refer to the blue line, okay. So blue line represents log of GDP for country one for the time period 1990 to 2018. Similarly, for country two, you can see the data as follows, okay. And if you like, over your cursor at any point you will get the observation for that particular country and for that particular time period okay so like if i uh, hover the cursor over here so this is the point for country two and for the time period 2005 the log of gdp for this country was 6.95 okay so this is how you can also compare all these cross sections in a single graph. Uh, so choosing these different options you can like accordingly obtain a line graph for your data set uh, so this is how you can represent your data set or your variables in a regression model using a graph and this will also add an advantage in your research paper or in your thesis if you want to represent your variables using graphs so you can follow these steps and obtain your graphs accordingly okay and if your data set is a panel data then you can go with either option you can go with combined or individual graph also okay stack does not provide us with much information so i will also suggest to proceed with either individual graphs of each cross sections or with such kind of combined graph. okay so i hope you like the video please click on the subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever uh, I will be uploading the next video and so you can also follow uh, on Telegram so as to get all the updates regarding the videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.